cinnamon read aloud. Hello, my little princes and princesses. It's Miss Sasha, and it's story time again. Today's story is titled Honey Smoke, the story of finding your color. Written by Monique Fields, illustrated by Yesenia Moses. Simone wants the color. She asks Mama, am I black or white? Boo, Mama says, just like Mamas do. A color is just a word. She asks Daddy, am I black or white? Well, Daddy says, just like Daddies do, you're a little bit of both. But Simone still wants a color, one of her very own. At lunch, she asks her friends, what color am I? You're black like me, one answers. No, you're white like me, says another. You could be one or the other, a third says. Simone stares at her feet. No one knows her color. During recess, Simone sways back and forth on a tire swing. And the black rubber stains her hands and clothes. It's not her color. Inside the classroom, Simone creates a flower. A drop of white glue kisses her skin. It's not her color. Simone wants a color, one that shows who she is on the inside and the outside. She snuggles with the bears in the reading corner. One is the color of chocolate, the other peanut butter. She places their small hands on top of hers. Neither chocolate nor peanut butter is her color. She has two colored pencils, one brown, the other pink. She draws a girl with one and colors her in with the other. Simone isn't brown or pink. Simone wants a color, one that tells her story. She studies her parents during dinner. She looks them up, then down. Mama's skin reminds her of the honey from the beehives at Grandma's house. And Daddy looks like the smoke that billows from Grandpa's train. Just before she climbs into bed, Simone discovers her color. Mama, she says, you're like honey and just as sweet. Boo, she says, like Mama's do. Never be as sweet as you are. And Daddy, you're the smoke. You're the strongest man I know. Well, he says, like daddies do, you're the strongest girl I know. Simone knows her color. She is honey smoke. The next day, she sees her color written in the clouds, in the tree leaves and on the grass. And she writes it on her schoolwork, on the classroom window and in chalk on the playground. Colors are words. Words are colors. Discover your color word. The end. Hope you like that story as much as I did, Chocolate Cinnamon Readers. See you next time.